I've created this video to explain why we can't divide by zero in two ways using multiplication. Have you ever wondered why dividing any number by zero is undefined? So to explain this, let's revisit division as the inverse operation of multiplications. So when we have a number like, for example, 28 divided by 4, we want to find out a missing factor, right? So it's, however, the missing factor could be a missing multiplier or what we call multiplier unknown type of multiplication. And in this case, we know the total is 28 and we know there are four units in each group. We are asking how many groups are there or how many groups of four will give you 28. The second type of uh, division is the how many units in one group type of division. Here we know there are four groups and we want to find out how many units in each of these four groups such that the total is 28. So in this case, it's the multiplicand unknown type of multiplication. So let's use this idea to explain why any number n divided by zero is undefined. So we can use the how many groups type of division to explain it. Here we want to achieve n units, total of n units, and we know that there are zero units in each group. So no matter how many groups you have, it's just not possible. How many groups? Because anything times zero is zero. So even if you have a billion groups and each of these billion group has zero units, you still has zero, right? So that's why n divided by zero is undefined, right? Because there's no finite number that times zero will give you n. Also, we can explain it using the second type of division. Here, again, we want to achieve n units. But in this case, I have zero groups. No matter how large, how many units you have in each group, if you have zero group, zero times any finite number is still zero. So that's why it's impossible. So it's just not possible to find a finite number of units in each group that will give you n units if you have zero groups in them. So I hope this has helped you. Thank you and have a great day.